Hi everyone, my name is John Elder. I work for CAST Service and I'm here today in one of our display centers making this video to explain one of our most common questions we receive. Be sure to follow all safe work practices, especially the use of PPE. All circuits should be de-energized prior to any wiring or service. Remember, many of our controls will have more than one circuit that will need to be turned off. After de-energizing the circuit, verify that the circuit is dead, then lock out and tag the breaker. Okay, let's get started. The fault I'm talking about is the MAU interlock fault. The fault appears here on the HMI, wherever your HMI is mounted, typically on the face of the hood or on the utility distribution center like we have here, or it could be on a wall mounted control package. Um, I'm gonna talk about some of the causes for the fault. I'm gonna talk about some troubleshooting ideas that we have. Uh, and then I'm also gonna tell you about how to reset the fault and get you back up and running. So the MAU interlock fault occurs when the hood control package does not see the damper on the makeup air open. Um, when the fault is present, all the power from the MAU, all the power from the control package to the MAU is uh, de-energized. And that's what trips up most service guys. You'll get on the roof to do a PM on the makeup air unit. They'll turn the disconnect off on the unit, change the belts, clean your filters, do whatever needs to be done. And when they turn the disconnect back on, nothing happens. And that's because when they turn the disconnect off, the damper closed, created the fault. And therefore, when the fault was created, we, we uh, de-energized all the power of the roof. Um, so the damper has 90 seconds to prove open. So once you turn the hood on, we send power to the roof for 90 seconds. The damper has to prove open. We do that with a switch inside the damper motor. If that switch doesn't close or it doesn't prove, it throws the fault. Or if after the unit is running for a while, you lose power or the damper closes, again, 90 seconds. After 90 seconds, the fault will show up. We de-energize all the power to the roof and then you're done. Now let me explain how the interlock works. To prove the damper open, a switch inside the damper motor is used. This switch energizes a relay that closes terminals D3 and D7 on the makeup air unit, which in turn closes terminals IL1A and IL1B on the hood controls. Note, not all hood control packages use the MAU interlock, so refer to the system wiring diagram for complete wiring instructions. The damper switch wires, if used, will be the red and yellow wires from terminals D3 and D7 on the makeup air unit and will be wired to the appropriate IL terminals in the hood controls. The 120 volt power for the damper and controls on the makeup air will be red and white wires and should be wired to terminal SF1 and N1 so that the damper will open and close when the hood system is turned on and off. The last thing to mention is a reminder that when the interlock fault is triggered, the SF1 terminal is de-energized, so no troubleshooting can really be done until power is restored. Now let's talk about troubleshooting. First is to turn the unit on and see if the damper opens. If it does, you know the motor works and your tension should turn to the switch, relay, and wiring. If the damper does not open, verify the correct voltage is being applied to the motor. If the voltage is present, Loosen the damper shaft clamp to see if the motor runs and if the damper operates smoothly. If the problem is with the switch, the relay, or the wiring, start by verifying the switch is adjusted correctly. To do this, turn the unit off and allow the damper to fully close. Then, check the switch adjustment dial on the damper motor to ensure the switch operates with the when the damper is approximately 80% open. Next, check to ensure the switch is wired per the wiring diagram, and use a voltmeter to do a continuity test on the switch. If the switch closes with the damper open, conduct a continuity test between terminals D3 and D7 to see if the damper relay is working properly. Yeah. 
If all this checks out, verify that that 24 volts DC is reaching the unit from the IL-1A terminal on the hood controls and is coming back to the IL-1B terminal. If during troubleshooting any of the components prove faulty, replace the component. For more information on this or any other products, you can email support at castservice.com or call 866-784-6900.